Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Fort Zancudo marine style outfit in GTA Online. If you enjoy the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't already. Just in case you're new here, I do a bunch of step by step tutorials such as this one. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys could get this video to 600 likes and if you want to shout out in the next video then leave hashtag MLTD in the comment section below. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated but apart from that let's get on to the tutorial. As a note making this outfit does involve the transfer glitch so it will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you are wearing. So in that case make sure that you are wearing your favourite outfit if you still want to proceed. With that cleared up we're going to press start and go to the online tab and we're going to go down to swap character. Doing this will then of course take you up into the clouds and load up the character selection screen. In order for this glitch to work, your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it's in the second one, then this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to the second character slot and start a new character, and I would recommend copying your main character's rank over to this one. This is just to avoid any issues buying anything, and no, it will not change your main character's rank. At this point, we just need to make sure that the character is a female, then we can press save and continue. Once you enter a name and take a photo, it will then take you into a GTA Online session, but first you need to watch the Diamond Casino House cutscene. When you do load in, the first thing that you want to do is open up the map to see if the clothing stores have spawned. If they haven't, then all you need to do is find a new session. We're then just going to Waypoint 1 and simply head over to it. Okay, so when we do eventually arrive at the clothing store, we're going to head over to the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the earrings category and go down to the bottom of the list. From here we're going to purchase the B&W Deco earrings, please do not forget these. Next we're going to go into the gloves category and purchase the light woodland tactical. We're then going to leave accessories and head over to the pants section. From here we're going to go into sports pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. With those purchased we're then going to back out of pants and head over to tops. From here we're going to go into the sports jackets category and head down to the bottom of the list. We need to purchase the sea green puffer jacket and then we're going to back out and go into the gun running t-shirts category. Just in case you haven't done this glitch before, please make sure that you purchase the exact same items that I'm buying. In gun running t-shirts we're going to purchase the blue digital roll tee, please do not get this confused with the blue digital t-shirt. They are two completely different things and will give you completely different results. In the shoe section we're going to go into the sneakers category and purchase the pink plain high tops. Lastly we then need to back out of shoes, open up the interaction menu and go into inventory and body armour. Go down and equip the green heavy armour. Please do not forget this because the CEO vest will not transfer without it. Now go back into shoes and save this in the first outfit slot and we're going to call this one gun. For the next part we're going to go into the pants section and go into the leggings category. In order to get the grey digital cargoes on the mail we need to purchase the red camo leggings. Do not confuse these with the red sparse camo leggings. Ok now we're going to head over to the top section and go into the biker cuts category. We need to purchase the grey digital denim cut. This will turn into the grey digital combat shirt on the male. After that we need to go into the bikini category and purchase the orange bikini from the bottom of the list. Just as we did with the other outfits, we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour and equip the green heavy armour. Like I said, please do not forget that because the CEO vest will not transfer without it. We're going to save this one in outfit slot 2 and we're going to call it grey digi. Ok so those are the two female transfer outfits done. We still have a bunch of empty outfit slots so what I recommend you do is watch some of my other transfer videos and you can make those outfits at the same time as this and transfer them over. For example you can make some of the plate carrier transfer outfits which allow you to put the regular plate carriers onto any top or outfit on your male character. Either way we then need to leave the clothing store to initiate a force save. In order to do that we need to open up the interaction menu and go into style and go down to outfit. We're going to change to a different outfit and then close the interaction menu. If the orange saving circle does not appear in the bottom right then just open up the interaction menu and switch outfit again. You might have to do that a couple of times depending on how recently your game has saved. Ok so the next step is to then press start, go to the online tab and we're going to scroll down to the creator. As expected starting this up will then take you up into the clouds. The creator menu will then load shortly after and we're going to go down to create a race and select tutorial. Once it brings you to the screen you then need to press the start button if you're on controller or the P key if you're on PC. Now go to online and select choose character. Same as before this will then take you up into the clouds and load up the character selection screen. Please listen carefully, we're now going to go over to the second slot and delete the female character, do not delete the male. 
When the selection screen loads, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right and press whichever button allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This will then take you down into single player. When you're able to, you're then going to press the start button and go back over to online and join an online session. I would recommend joining a public session instead of invite only. You'll spawn into the session on your male character and you will still be wearing your favourite outfit. We now need to head down to a clothing store and we're going to go over to the outfit section and start browsing outfits saved. If everything was done correctly and you didn't disconnect at any point on the female character, then you should see that you now have transferred the outfits over to your male. Before we continue, we're going to make sure that we save our favourite outfit. We're then ready to move on to the next step, which is acquiring the CEO vest outfit. You are going to need either a friend to do this with or someone that you can communicate vocally with. To begin, you need to bring your friend or whoever you're doing this with to your hind apartment. When you're both there, you're then going to get your friend or whoever you're doing this with to invite you to their CEO organisation. The CEO or VIP then needs to start switching through the outfits until you get the one that you want. Of course, we're going to need the one that has the tan vest. Now you need to go into the bathroom and walk into the shower while your CEO stands outside. The timing of this part is very important, so as soon as you start showering, the CEO needs to dismiss you from their organisation. Assuming you have both timed that correctly, you're then free to leave the shower and you should still be wearing the associate outfit. With that done, we're then going to leave the apartment and head down to the nearest clothing store. We're going to go over to the outfit section and we're going to make sure that we save this one before we continue. Again, I would recommend saving this somewhere in the middle of your outfit slots. With it saved, we're then going to back out of there and head over to accessories and go into the scarves category. From here we're going to purchase the tan desert scarf, now this is completely optional so if you don't want it, then don't buy it. Next we're then going to press the start button, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and start up the mission called crooked cop. When the settings screen loads up, you're going to go down to clothing and make sure it's set to player owned. Now confirm the settings and you're going to need to invite someone. If you don't have a friend to do this with, then you can use the auto invite feature like I'm doing here. Alternatively though, you can also go into the description of this video and join the militated discord server and find someone to possibly help you there. When somebody does eventually join, you're going to press play to launch the job. Shortly after, it's then going to bring you to the outfit selection screen and you're going to go down to owned outfit. Press right to equip the gun outfit and then press right again to equip grey digi. You should now have the holstered gun on your waist with the CEO vest and scarf on the female transfer outfit. You then need to wait for the other person to ready up, but once you get into the mission, you're going to open up the interaction menu. From here, you're going to go into style and accessories and press left on gear to equip an earpiece. Now bring up the phone and quit the job, and when you load into a free mode session, you'll still be wearing the outfit. Okay, so now that all of the confusing parts are over, we're just going to head over to a clothing store. When we arrive, we're then going to go over to the accessory section and go into the gloves category. From here we're going to purchase the grey tact gloves, but you can use the grey digi ones if you want. Either way, we're then going to back out of accessories and head over to the shoe section. We're going to go into boots and select the tan walking boots, which will match the vest and the scarf. Next, we're then going to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue, just in case. With it saved, we're then going to go to the mask store on Vespucci Beach and start browsing the mask section. Go into the gas category and purchase the gas mask from the bottom of the list. After that, we're then going to go into the hat section and go into the combat helmets category. Unfortunately, there isn't a grey digital one, so we're going to have to use the grey woodland instead. I'm going to go for the dual lens, but you can use the quad lens if you want. Either way, you just need to make sure that you save the outfit. Just in case you're not a fan of the gas mask, or if it's not the look you're going for, then you can use something else if you want. For example, the brown or grey scale urban skis will also work very well with this outfit. But that is pretty much as close as we're going to get to a Zancudo marine outfit. And with that I'll say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Again I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could get this video to 600 likes and if you want a shout out in the next video then comment hashtag MLTD down in the comment section below. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord, the invite link is in the description and you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. I try to respond to as many comments as I can so if you have a question or a video suggestion then please do leave it below. But that is pretty much all I have to say, so thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next GTA Online video.